everyone. Welcome to Mediumship by Picasso. If you're seeing me here, you've hit me up on my YouTube channel and I thank you for coming. My name is Picasso Roberts and I'm a psychic medium and author. I just want to ask you that if you're seeing me here, if you get a chance, please, even just right now, if you could just hit the subscribe button, whether you want to watch any of the videos or not, uh, it's really up to you. I hope you do and I hope you get something out of it, you know. Subscribing to my channel will help me stay here longer. So I'll be able to do some really cool things uh, along the way. Um, my focus is going to be on getting as much content out to you as possible. I want to help as many people as, as I can. And the one of the biggest things is um, feel free to comment in the comment section if you're looking for uh, a particular subject that you want to get covered that nobody covers on their on their channels uh, please feel free to put it in the the comment section and if I don't know about it I'll try to learn about it and then I'll give you as much information on that subject as I can I won't lie and tell you oh I'm an expert because you know wow I'm I'm probably not going to be an expert there are a few things that I'm really confident and have a lot of experience in and I could talk the pain off a wall when it comes to subjects like that. If it's something I don't know about, then I'll, I'll definitely pull as much information as I can to get you answers and information. So that being said, I wish you could see the other side of my camera. And I'm all kind of jury-rigged up here so that things are a little precarious. I can't really pull my computer around and, and look. But uh, my assistant is on the table uh, behind the behind my computer jack one of the things that i want to cover today or the thing that i want to cover today <clears throat> is when it comes to psychic readings or mediumship readings or you know what just life in general uh, i would like to talk about ethics and working ethically and living ethic ethically um i i think it's important that we bring it up every now and again. So let me just cover a couple of things. When I think of somebody uh, who is acting or working unethically, um, that's no different to me than being a liar, cheat, or thief. And there are a couple of things that I can't stand in this world, and that is liars, cheats, and thieves. But the amount of time and energy spent on working or acting unethically, being a liar, being a scammer, um, being a thief, the amount of energy that people put into that, they could do something honestly. They could do something with integrity. And man, what a difference that would make. Let's turn the direction towards doing doing kind of what doing what I do and how to find somebody who's working ethically and honestly. Um, there are a couple of things that that I personally do. Hang on a second. The paws are moving. Oh, okay. Okay. Are we good? So if you see hair floating around, um, that would be Jax. He's sharing. When you're looking for a reader, how do you know they're on the up and up? How do you know they're honest? How do you know they're telling you the truth? Well, first and foremost, Trust your gut. So for example, this, uh, I do events once a month or once every couple of months um, at a, a festival, like a spirit fest event. And oftentimes you'll see people come into the room and it's usually a big room where there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of booths uh, anywhere from, I don't know, 50 to 100 booths and there are uh, readers and there are crystals and there are books and there are healers and all of that when i watch as people enter the room and i always see when somebody is drawn towards me and then they 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 hold themselves back you know 10 15 feet they watch what i'm doing or how i hold myself or how i what the energy feels like they're reading my signs and they're looking at what I have on my table and it's usually my book or my price calendar thing or, or sign-in sheet as they're holding themselves back 
I could feel the curiosity and the skepticism. Is that woman honest? Is she on the up and up? Is she the real deal? So oftentimes they'll go ahead and step a little closer to my booth and, and start talking to me. And I, I chat with them about, you know, are they enjoying the, the event? And, oh, I just got here. They'll say, oh, I just got here and I'm not sure. I always recommend make the circle, make the loop, go around the room. And then wherever you feel pulled into, wherever you feel that energy, where you feel comfortable with somebody, then go to that person. I always tell them, you know, look, you were drawn to me, but go around the room and see where you feel is best and who you connect with. And I would say 90% of the time they make it back to me. And that's great um, because you can feel the energy. You can feel when somebody's got a good intention, uh, and I do, uh, the, of the utmost uh, of good intentions for people. Um, that's my job, you know? If I was a crappy reader and uh, a liar, then word would get around like that, and then I wouldn't have any clients at all. Uh, you, it would be a short-lived business. Say you sit down in front of a reader, and they don't, um, you know, you're not sure. <laughs> or you're still kind of questioning, does this person know what they're doing? Look into their eyes. And on this, you're going to see nothing but the reflection of the lights because I have to wear glasses. But look into their eyes. Look into their eyes and see if they are looking back at you. Are they connecting with you? Or are they looking down all the time? Or are they looking to the left? Are they looking to the, like, are they looking away? Are they looking beyond you? Um, now, when I'm in a read, I may be looking down because I'm writing, but when I'm doing business and introducing myself, you're gonna get full contact. You're gonna get my eyes. You're gonna get my energy. You're gonna get information. I'm gonna answer some questions so you know what you're gonna get in the read. Um, it's just, it's how I work. That's how it works if I'm if you're at a, an event, a, a festival of some sorts. But if you are looking for somebody online, you're looking for a reader, and you know you've got a bunch of stuff going on in your life, and you don't know what to do, and you're trying to get answers, and man, I have been there so many times. I will typically research and check the reader to see what kind of reviews that reader has to see what complaints, if there are any complaints. It makes a difference to me. If I read a review, well, this reader, you know, told me I was gonna die tomorrow or told me I only had a week to live. Man, no, <laughs> no, it, it, that is unethical. That is not okay. If somebody is telling you you're going to die tomorrow or you're going to die next week or, you know, look, you've got six months. You better hurry up and pay me. You know what I mean? Forget it. Back away. Put your money back in your pocket and get out of there. I will also check to see if the person has uh, any articles written about them. Are they in the public? Are they doing, are they teaching? Are they holding classes online? Are they holding classes in person? Are they doing um, gallery work, platform mediumship? Have they written a book? Are they out there in the public where people can, can gain information as to how they run their business, as to how they operate, um, and, and if they're operating um, honestly? But the biggest thing, the biggest thing that I do is I look at their eyes. And the eyes tell so much, you know? If you're looking at me or if I'm watching somebody, um, I look at if they smile with their eyes. I look if if they're, I don't know, I, I, you could, there's a feeling, there's an aura about people. If I focus my energy in on a picture of somebody, I could see that aura around that person and that'll tell me, that'll tell me so much about that. Uh, about that person if they're honest or you know whatever here's the thing it's important to remember that when you're booking a reading with somebody you're putting yourself um out there i don't know you're putting your money out there too but um 
it there's a level of vulnerability where you're opening yourself up in a read and that takes courage you know i think it was brene brown that was talking that she did the whole ted talk about uh vulnerability and vulnerability really is courage it is really having the courage to you know in, in this particular situation where you're sitting down with somebody where you're opening yourself up it's like getting a healing so you're sitting there and you're in a vulnerable place because that person is getting ready to read into your energy getting ready to read into who you are as a person and the things that are going on in your life and there are things that I don't know. It's hard to share. It's hard to share some things. Now, a reader is not going to splay everything out, you know, in the open and make you feel uncomfortable. Not a reader who's working ethically. Now, when you open yourself up and you're in that vulnerable state, remember that you're having the courage to seek answers. You're having the courage to step into something that you typically wouldn't do. Um, but hopefully, given the right reader, given the right situation, you will understand that it's okay to make yourself vulnerable. It's okay to be courageous. It's okay to step into something new. Just make sure that you have the right person and you feel really good about it. Speaking about vulnerability and courage and all of that i have to say that there are a couple of there are well there's probably right now there will be more later i'm sure but um there are a couple of other youtube channels that i follow um i, I want to tell you about that one in particular hang on hang on just a sec cheers sometimes i just need a little sip of tea I don't want to choke on it. So today I was hanging back and trying to figure out, <coughs> excuse me, trying to figure out what topic I was going to cover uh, on this particular video. And, you know, so I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here at home and um, I hadn't done my meditation yet and I'm dragging ass trying to, trying to just figure out how to start today, where to start the day and all of that. And so I, I popped on YouTube. Um, I, I put it on the, the big TV back there. It's just easier to see and it's more comfortable when I'm sitting. But I popped on YouTube and there's a particular channel that I watch that I subscribe to and I highly recommend that you do the same because these guys do just phenomenal work. It's called AWP and it's Adventures with Purpose. First name is Jared uh, Lysick, I think it is. Uh, and the team, uh, Doug and Josh and Carson, and I think there's another guy on there, Nick, and just a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of people that started out finding things in the water, um, finding cars that, you know, cleaning up the water, basically, cleaning up the rivers and things like that. So they would find, um, sometimes they would find phones or guns or um, I don't know they talked to, told a story about finding an ATM and um, a safe in a truck or whatever and they started finding vehicles and when they started finding vehicles you know put two and two together you know people go people go missing all the time and oftentimes they go missing on purpose and sometimes it's accidents and sometimes it, there's foul play. So I learned about these guys about a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year. I was following a case out in Colorado, a Suzanne Morfu case, and she'd gone missing on Mother's Day a couple of years before. I watched these guys go to Colorado and search caves that were filled with water mining caves and rivers and things like that and then there was detection of foul play and they got out of there but 
I guess the attention for me, the attention was that they they don't charge for this. They um, they help people all over the United States, and for you know to find, help solve cold cases and, and things like that. They have the underwater sonar. They've got all they've got some really cool equipment. They didn't have it in the beginning. They barely had anything to start with. While I was watching them today, in just a year's time, just a year. Uh, from me watching them on that Suzanne Morfu case, uh, I I would watch on their channel, and then on also on the channel Profiling Evil. But on Adventures with Purpose, they had been solving these cases, uh, these missing person cases, and I think it went a year's time, or, or is it two years? They solved 23 cold cases. 23. That's 23 families who now have answers. Law enforcement, it's they tried. They tried to help. They tried, you know, they spent a lot of hours and teamwork and everything trying to locate these guys or the, the missing people. But they didn't have the equipment or they didn't have the experience. And so Adventures with Purpose comes along and, you know, they're, they've got this intuitive way about them. They just have a knowing. And, and the equipment, of course, but, and they work as a team. So they find these people underwater. Sometimes the body is still with the, the vehicle, sometimes not. Uh, every, every case is different. Let me get back to why I brought this up today. I was watching a particular special where they were introducing these new, um, they call them the twins, the twin uh, trailers. At the end of the video, they were they were answering questions, and one of them, one of the questions was, and this had actually occurred to me as well. And as soon as the an- the question came into my head, the same question that that came up on the screen, the question was, "Are you guys going to be on TV?" are you going to get your own show basically and jared said no they're not going to do tv they are not they have been approached by 150 or more um show you know uh, people that want them to do a show they want they want to come in and film it and do all of do all of the stuff and and make it a a moneymaker on tv and jared's like no no here's the thing tv would want to make it grandiose and expand on things that are not important and to these guys time and getting to more families and finding more cases and and solving more cases is more important ethically than it is to make a gazillion dollars on a tv show it's they're documentary makers they are they are filming what they do so the information can get out to more people and this is done by a youtube on a youtube channel and they have their channel and they have millions of followers millions and i am so proud of these guys for taking the time to do what they do, first of all. I mean, can you imagine having a loved one that's missing 10 years and still have no answers and these guys come along your case and go, hey, let's go check that river over there. Or hey, let's go check that pond. Or let's look at where that person was headed in that five mile radius. I mean, can you imagine getting answers from somebody for, for free? basically. They solve these cases for free. It's by the subscribers uh, on their channel uh, that they have been able to monetize and and be able to work harder for the people they're trying to help, which is just amazing. So I want to go back to ethics. This is what I'm talking about with regards to ethics. You can you can do what your heart leads you to do and on the the right thing, the ethical thing, and do the work and you're still making a living and you're helping people and all of that. Or you could go over here to that sort of 
fame game. What do you, when you weigh that out, look at look at where what they decided to do. They decided to go with the, the ethical way, and I'm so proud. Um, just as human beings, I'm really proud that they chose to do that. So I don't know. I just I wanted to share that with you guys today because it's super super important. It's one of the reasons why I started my channel. Now look, I'm not seeking out to have a million followers or anything like that. I'm seeking out to help people heal, um, to give people information, to help people understand uh, what it is you know, to be a psychic, what a psychic reading is like, how to help people on psychic detective cases, how to help people uh, understand their own journey and um, soul relationships and things like that. that that's right up my alley that is that is my lane i stay in my lane um always trying to learn and grow of course always trying to learn and grow when i start a video and i start it with hey like and subscribe there's a reason i want to keep this going i want to keep the information coming out to you i want to share what i know share from my experiences um I want to I want to bring awareness to more people. That's all. Um, and I want to share stories like what I what I saw today. It's, it's just an amazing amazing thing. I really I I'm really really am so proud of them. So I'm glad AWP stuck to their guns. It takes courage to do that. And what do we talk about today? Vulnerability and courage. You know, did I make the right decision? Of course. Go with the heart. Go with the honesty. Go with integrity. Work ethically. That will take you farther, longer than anything else. That's all I've got to say about that. Remember, check reviews on a reader before you call them up on the phone and say, hey, you know, tell me about my life. Um, check the reviews. Check if there are complaints. Check if um, there are articles written about them or they have written articles or books. Know your reader, know their experience level and feel if they feel good to you. Trust your instincts, trust your intuition. Sometimes it's gonna be wrong. Sometimes you're gonna get a shit reading. That's okay. Brush it off and on to the next. Um, but if you do your homework and trust your in intuition, your gut, that gut feeling, you're typically going to get exactly who you're supposed to get. So trust that. Today we talked about that, finding a reader who's working ethically and honestly. We talked about ethics, vulnerability, and vulnerability actually meaning courage. Uh, we talked about the AWP, Adventures with Purpose story. I'm going to give a shout out to them. Please look them up on YouTube. It is Adventures with Purpose. Go on there and support them. They're doing a really good thing. Like, subscribe. And please, before you come off of my channel, when you finish this video or before, please subscribe to my channel so we can do more of this, so I can teach more uh, online and in the comfort of your own home or coffee shop or wherever you happen to be. Uh, I will, um, I'm available for reads. For private reads, you can book me on my website at mediumshipbypicasso.com. You can catch up with me here on this YouTube channel, Mediumship by Picasso. Um, or you can check me out on Facebook. Uh, it is also Mediumship by Picasso. Once a month, I'm going to be at Amici's Italian Restaurant doing platform work or gallery style readings. So it's it'll be two hours of... Uh, spirit communications that'll be with your loved ones um, coming in and I'll give you evidential based information so that only you could validate that information. There are tickets available on Eventbrite. Uh, if you go to eventbrite.com and put in St. Augustine Beach and Amici's Italian Restaurant or Amici, A-M-I-C-I, um, there they have different um, events throughout the month, and so you'll see my event there. Please book it uh, early rather than late, and support, support, support your local reader and author. I hope this video was informative. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you take something away from it and. If you ever have questions, always reach out, make a comment. I'm happy to help. 
that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be kind, be nice to each other, and um, that's it. Peace out. <laughs>